Hello viewers, and welcome to another hardware video. This time we're showing off this big monstrous machine, the Xbox. This was a gift from another high school friend of mine named Jasper. Thank you, Jasper. And I used to have one when I was a kid. I think on uh, my ninth or 10th birthday I got one, and I had it up until I was about... What? Well, hold on. Maybe the seventh or eighth birthday I got it. And I had it up until I was about 12 years old, and then something happened to it. I'm not sure. We have a power cord and a video cable here, the RCAs. We have four working controllers, and one that's broken, but was the first one I ever used, so I kind of kept it with a piece of tape on it to mark which one was the broken one. Black and white buttons. Oh, I remember using this so much. And this is the system me and Jeff played. Uh, to do the 2P, and uh, this was up too, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and you can see we have the game right here, ZALP2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, was played on this system with this game, we all can see that, sure, we have a wonderful collection of games, a big a towering collection here, this is Hulk 2003, which is ZALP4, the Hulk 2003 game, that's what I played it on, that's my disc right there. We have Crash Bandicoot 4. Unfortunately, I don't have the case for it, so I have it in this. The Wrath of Cortex. Very good Crash Bandicoot game. I liked it, personally. I played it many times when I was a kid. In fact, it was, other than Warped, it was the Crash Bandicoot game I played the most until, you know, college. And we have an Xbox 360 game in here. For some reason, I don't have a 360, but I have Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Uh, I don't even have a 360 and that's sitting in there. Are there any other 360 games stuck in here? No, I think we're good. That's funny though. Then we have, just for kicks, the dusty copy of Spongebob the movie video game <laughs> so, uh, for the Xbox. I'm actually working on something on it right now. I'm trying to complete it just for fun. I, I put it away after fall semester because I got really busy, but that sure is a fun time there. Then we have Star Wars Battlefront 1. I can definitely see myself doing a zap of this at some point. The game that came before Battlefront 2. Very, very classic game. We have, of course, Lego Star Wars, the video game. The first Lego Star Wars game. The one that has just episodes 1, 2, and 3. It's a little bit kiddie. I think it's fun. The play is maybe, I don't know, when you're bored. I think it's fun. And this case looks like a Battlefront 1 case, but it's not Battlefront 1 inside. It's Star Wars The Clone Wars and Tetris Worlds, but Star Wars The Clone Wars, an Xbox game. You're mostly in tanks fighting things. The, the main antagonist, uh, the final boss at the end is the Dark Reaper. Hard to describe it. Just basically thinking of fighting the Clone Wars in just tanks and ships. There are really small instances where you're infantry, but, you know, that's not exactly common in that game. And then we have Spider-Man, the movie, the game. The movie, the game. This will be Zop 6, actually, where I go around and play as Spider-Man fighting the Green Goblin. I think it's a wonderful game. This case looks identical to the last one, but actually inside is Spider-Man 2, the video game. This game was actually a gift from my cousin, my older cousin, and this is the sequel to that game. Very different. It's, this is basically the Grand Theft Auto of Spider-Man. Uh, as opposed to that game, it's very linear, going through levels, getting collectibles. This game, well, it has a lot of collectibles. It has a lot of little checklists of things to do. Very Grand Theft Auto-like. Huge overworld. Uh, New York, you swing around it. It's very fun. Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc, Hoodlum Havoc, very great Rayman game, not the Rayman game I think most commonly of when I think of Rayman, you know, it's not like collecting lumps all the time, there's a lot of, well, it's like scoring, it's not like collecting lumps all the time, it's just getting through the level, you have a score based on the number of jewels you collected and the number of points you get for collecting jewels in a certain way. Very interesting game though. I did like it. It has a great soundtrack too. 
uh, both calming and energetic songs, and it's very wonderful. I put them on my iPod. Sonic Heroes, people like to hate on this game. I personally find it at least, you know, enjoyable. Where you can play as either Team Sonic, Team Dark, Team Amy, or Team, Amy, or team Chaotix. Actually, it's technically called Team Rose. You, you know, ha have teams of three. You can switch between members to do special powers. And you, I'm sure you're all aware of how Sonic Heroes works. And then an unopened copy of Shadow the Hedgehog, because I haven't gotten around to play it yet. The edgy, the edgy Shadow the Hedgehog game <laughs> that people like to make fun of, where he has a gun. It's a very, very interesting choice for Sega there. But that completes my Xbox collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I recorded all the other videos now. I just have to record the handhelds, my Game Boys and my DSs. So I hope you enjoyed. Peace.